In this video, we are going to cover the major app types. Let's do it. When we are talking about the types of mobile application, we have three major types. First is the native applications, which are built for a specific particular platform. This can be an iOS app or an Android app. We also have web apps, which only require a browser to run. Then we have hybrid apps, which combine elements of both a native app and a web app, offering the beautiful functionality of cross-platform, which means they can work in iOS and Android at the same time. Now let's dive in a little bit deeper into the power of native applications. Native apps offer the best performance and responsiveness because they are built for a specific platform. They are also high in terms of cost because they require a lot of expertise and knowledge. They also require separate code bases for each platform, which means we have to use a specific programming language to develop an Android app and then a specific programming language to develop an iOS app. When it comes to the time it takes to develop these applications, they require a longer development time. They also offer a smooth access to all device features. And at the end of the day, once they're deployed, they offer a consistent user experience throughout all devices. What about web applications? Well, web applications offer cross-platform compatibility, which means they can run on many platforms. The issue with web application is that they offer limited access to device features, which means we have to add plugins to them and additional features in order to access some specific device features. The benefit of developing web apps is that they are easy and fast to develop, and they all depend on the browser that they are running on. When it comes to the cost of development, they are extremely low in terms of cost and development time. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into hybrid applications. Hybrid apps are known for their fast development time. Their performance is lower when compared to native applications. They always depend on a framework and access features to specific plugins. And that's an issue because the framework will dictate how these applications are being developed. What's beautiful about them is that they offer cross-platform compatibility, which means they can run on multiple platforms and devices. On the negative side, they will require plugins in order to access specific device features. Now let's cover the testing implication of native applications and what do we have to keep in mind while testing those. Testing native application will require us to involve a platform specific testing, which means for every one of the major platforms available in the marketplace, we have to perform a specific testing. We also have to keep in mind that we need to provide a total functional testing to make sure that the application provide a positive experience to the end user. What about the testing implications of web applications? We have to test our web applications on different browsers to make sure that they perform the same across many browsers. We also have to make sure that we are compatible with as many browsers as possible to make sure that we offer options to our end users. We also need to check for the layout and the functionality because sometimes that can be an issue, especially after the deployment. Last but not least, we have to establish a monitoring mechanism to monitor the loading time of the application. Now let's cover the testing implications of hybrid applications. Initially speaking, we have to test native functionalities to make sure that our application is actually performing the intended functionalities. We also have to test the web component of our application to make sure that the application is accessible across the web. We also have to test for any lags or issues by using a monitoring tool. Then we need to verify the third party plugins and make sure that these are accessible and that they are providing us with the device functionality. Then of course, we have to test with the latest implementation and version to make sure that the application is actually performing no matter what version of the operating system that we are running the application on. 